uh, everyday beer. This is one of your mainstays, right? This is our go-to. Absolutely. You go. This is your go-to when you get down there. Make sure you check out Old Coast Ales on your next trip to the oldest city, and make sure you share this segment from our website, firstcoastliving.net. Know that sound? That's the sound of Jackson Jams. I got a fever, Jacksonville, and the only cure is more cowbell. And other percussion instruments, which these two lovely ladies are gonna be bringing that sweet sound of Jacksonville this week. They are the duo of Escape 10. I am so excited to be here with you guys. Thanks for Thanks having for us. Thanks for being here. Okay, so tell me a little bit about Escape 10. Why the name Escape 10? Well, we were, uh, when we formed about five years ago, we wanted to really go big, and so we did a cross-country road trip in a Ford Escape. Uh, on the Interstate 10, and we packed the car full of all of these instruments that you see in the Wait a minute. Room, basically. Really? Yeah. In yes. an escape? That's in impressive. Escape, yeah. From coast to coast, from Virginia all the way to LA and back for three weeks. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, so I know that these are cowbells. I've identified that, but there's all kinds of instruments that you guys are playing. Tell us about that. Well, this behind you right here is a marimba. Okay. Uh, which is made out of rosewood and it has resonators so that the notes can ring. Um, and then this behind me here is a vibraphone, which is made out of aluminum like metal bars and it has a pedal sort of like a piano and you find this in jazz. So this is kind of like an American made, like evolved in the jazz period. So we can we can claim that here. Okay, and this is an instrument too. This is a West African geel, which is like a West African marimba. Oh. It has gourds that are the resonators instead of tubes. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, I'm a natural. <laughs> oh, and you guys also play traditional drums, because I think when people think of percussion, and that's what I initially thought, but percussion consists of all kinds of sounds. Yeah. Anything yeah. you can hit, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. And anything in the back of the orchestra. <laughs> well, I got a co-host. I can hit him. I usually want to, <laughs> but I don't know if that counts as percussion. So what about these drums over here? So these are some uh, traditional drums that people see around. Bongos, congos, toms, a kick drum that you see on a, on a drum set. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So what can people expect at this concert this week? Well, the focal point of this concert is a world premiere that we're doing of a piece called Illuminations by Eric Guinevin, who's a... Uh, uh, on the composition faculty at James Madison University, and he's going to come in town for the premiere as well. If you want to talk about yeah, this a little bit. Yeah, and so what's exciting about that piece is that it was commissioned by Harvard University's Frome Foundation, um, which was awarded to Eric and ourselves um, to work together in collaboration with this piece. So it's a, it's a really fun three movement piece. Um, each movement depicts a different setting of light. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's really interesting. So the concert and the event itself is free, right? Yes. Yes, uh, the doors open at 5.30 at the museum, and there's a cash bar with some wine and refreshments, and uh, people are able to watch or come see the galleries for free before the concert, which starts at 7. Okay, but we can get a little sample of everything that's happening this week right now? Absolutely. Okay, I'll give this to you, because I clearly don't Thank know you. what I'm doing. <laughs>